Hi, this is Catherine Rosen Ooh. with Board Game Geek. I'm sitting here with Taka and Simon and Swan from Japan Brand and here to talk about Village of Familiar. Yes, the Village of Familiar has been a lot of buzz about this and it's also already been licensed as well, so you're Fantastic. actually going to see this. This is a complicated game again, so I'm only going to do a rough overview. You have cards like this that you can use to build tree houses and that's what your game. You're oh, supposed neat. to de build tree houses like this. They have an interesting drafting method where you don't have to hurry and you don't have to wait for the others. But you pick up cards, you keep one, you send the rest, you place the rest on here, uh, on, onto the next player, depending on which order you're supposed to draft. Or you can draw new cards or you can bail out and say, I'm finished and whatever. When everybody's got of these cards, you are trying to build like this. And what you see here is like, basically you're trying to build up something that will give you as much power as possible at the end of the game. Because you don't have any resources or whatever during the game, you're just building. And you see that all of these will give you, if you have these resources, you will get a little potion. And potions can give you points, but you, you can't get points from a red potion in a red house. So you will need to put a little pipeline here between the blue house and the red house. Oh, actually, actually, this actually gives points for the green potion, but you get the point. Yeah. And there are a lot of ways to score points. Some of them give points for how many pipelines you have. You can you can pipeline several trees together and so ah. on. And what you also do with these cards, some of these cards have an effect that you on this board can place your little familiars here. You're sort of trying to, to uh, get into this magic forest to gain stuff. So if, if I start here, I can place my next familiar there, and then I place my next familiar there, and fantastic, I've got an apple. And, and these aren't moved for the entire game, so you're just, you're just sort of trying to get as much area here mm -hmm. as possible because if I have two apples, if I have two apples, I can get a red potion, and if with a red potion I can gain points, and with those points I can turn them into other things. So it's a matter of creating a very good combination here, keeping track of this board, and sort of, uh, well, so you get as many points as possible uh, at the end of the game. And it's a lot of to keep track of, but you have your time. It's not stressful at all, mm -hmm. because you don't have to wait for the other players when you're drafting. So it's actually a very nice game. Uh, the publisher we speak to, he absolutely loved it, and it's probably coming out next year. Fantastic. Thank Lots you. Lots of really cute pieces. That's yes, very cute. Village of Familiar. Thank you. Thank you.